Hello. Well, today I have a recipe from my childhood. I remember mom making this in the 50s and 60s. I don't know if it was a fad back then or what, but it's called American Chop Suey. I also remember, I told you once, that my mom's spices consisted of salt, pepper, cinnamon, maybe sage, but in this, there's soy sauce, so she also had soy sauce on hand. I'm proud of you, Mom, living on the edge like that. Anyway, I love this recipe. I've made one change. It's super easy. There is a pound of hamburger. There is one medium onion cut up. That's a little bit much. I might not use all that. I have a cup of rice, two tablespoons of soy sauce, a cup and a half of water, and the recipe calls for one can of cream of mushroom and one can of cream of chicken. I've been using two cans of cream of mushroom. I like it a little moister than, than what it was. This is so easy. I'm going to brown the burger with the onion and we're just going to put it together and it's ready to go. As I'm browning my meat, I used maybe two-thirds of the onion. It was like a, a little bit larger medium onion. I like onion, but I don't want it to overpower either. Let's let this finish up. You want this brown, no more pink. While the meat is browning, I'm going to put the rest of it together. I have a casserole here that's a little larger than, I don't know, what are they, one and a half quart, two quart? That just wasn't quite big enough. First, I'm gonna put in my soup. Get every last drop. I don't know if that's how you tell your mom went through the depression. You get every last thing out of the out of the soup can. And I want to know if any of the rest of you had this as a kid. I should look up the history of this recipe. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of whisk this together. This is just so easy. I'm adding the rice. There's no real order to put this in. And I'm adding the soy sauce. And now I'm going to add the water. This is how you really know. You clean out your uh, soup cans. <laughs> that your mom went through the depression and taught you to waste not, want not. Okay, let's get this finished. You have to go a little slow here. And then I'm going to add the brown burger and onion and that's it. This is just so easy. I've never put mushrooms in here. I've actually never had re the real chop suey. I don't know what's in there. If we go Chinese, I usually get something. My favorite is Hung Su chicken. I love the sauce that goes with that. And I love the chicken. Oop! <laughs> that didn't surprise you, did you? Did it? Okay, I'm going to let this sit, and my meat is almost done. Okay, I put in my burger, my browned burger, and onion. Okay, this is done. I mean, that's how easy it is. I'm going to put this in the oven, 350 degrees, uncovered, for one hour. Well, it's been an hour, and this is all bubbly. Oh, look at that. You see, with the extra gravy, you get a little bit more liquid. Yeah, this is good. Let me dish them up for you. Well, I wish I could. Can you see that? It's just a wonderful mixture of goodness. And it's so simple, so easy, very few ingredients. Give this one a try if you've never had American chop suey. Till next time, bye-bye.